July's military parade in Pyongyang proves just how senior this man was. Chang Song Tech was at the North Korean leader's right hand, at the very heart of this regime. He was Kim Jong un's uncle and mentor, married to the sister of the former leader, Kim Jong il. This is the moment which signaled his downfall, dragged away and humiliated in front of thousands. A chilling message to all who watched. He was executed by machine gun. In trademark language, he was, said State TV, despicable human scum, worse than a dog, a man who perpetrated thrice-cursed acts of treachery. The regime charge sheet says he attempted to overthrow the government. Claims of sexual impropriety and corruption were also thrown in. The American government has said it represents yet another example of the extreme brutality of this man. South Korea has called an emergency session of its Security Council and warned of further instability. If we read between the lines, it probably reveals uh, some weaknesses and some divisions right at the top. Because this wouldn't have actually happened like this under Kim Jong-il. This has happened in this very publicized way uh, because there is division and there was kind of a problem with the succession. And Chang Song Tech had probably got too powerful and that's why he needed to bring be brought down uh, so uh, dramatically. It's certainly ruthless, but it also potentially represents a seismic shift for North Korean politics and not one the world will be comfortable with. Not least China, North Korea's only ally. Mr. Chang was effectively China's man in the North Korean regime, the interlocutor between Beijing and Pyongyang. Without him, China's attempt to keep Kim Jong-un in check could be harder. This is then perhaps a hint of weakness, but it certainly represents a generational struggle by an entirely unpredictable leader with nuclear weapons and a point to make. Mark Stone, Sky News in China.